what to wear at an audition. Yes, because you see, what you wear at an audition can influence the result of your audition. Usually, uh, the casting director will call your agent and say, we want to see so-and-so for such and such a role, and you have a vague idea of what to wear. Now, remember that when you go into the office, where there is the casting director, sometimes the director, sometimes the producer, you will be judged by three things. Once, your physical appearance. Two, the credits that you have and how you speak about them. Three, by the reading of the text. Now, let's say that what you are wearing is not pleasing to casting director, director or producer. That's one strike against you. Let's say that they are not satisfied with your credits and or how you explain them. Two strikes against you. Then what is left for you is to be brilliant in the reading. And remember, you're probably going to be nervous, so that's going to be very difficult. Remember also that the impression that you give to those people that very first time is not a fleeting impression, it is a lasting impression. They will either like you and remember you, or they will not like you and they will try to forget you. All right? And you don't want to be forgotten. Let me say that when you go to an audition, uh, I'll talk to the guys first, uh, and you want to wear the latest fashion, which is uh, torn jeans, torn uh, Levi jacket or leather jacket, spiked hair, an earring, chains around your neck. Now, even if the role requires it, this is how you will be remembered. For roles like a rebellious person, homeless person, a junkie, a drug dealer. There are more roles than that to be played on the air. You don't want to be remembered just as that one character. For you ladies, if you don't know what you're supposed to wear and you say, oh, I've got to look pretty. However, you wear a very mini skirt and a blouse that's open down to here, long earrings and a lot of makeup, that's how you're going to be remembered. I've often said in the show that in Hollywood, when you first start, the longer the earrings, the shorter the rolls. So what should you really wear when you go to an audition? If you know, for example, I'll take two extremes, that you're going to be reading for a policeman or a fireman or a policewoman or a firewoman, then try to wear darker color, dark pants, dark skirt, uh, dark shirt, black or blue shirt, so that they have an impression of you that is relating to the character. If you're supposed to be a doctor or a nurse, wear something light or a nice business suit. If you don't quite know what to wear, I would advise the young women to wear a nice dress, but always carry a jacket with you. So that when you go in the office, if the role requires that you are a businesswoman, you can wear the jacket on top of the dress. If you are supposed to be a very relaxed person, then maybe you can open the button of your shirt or of the dress and look fairly relaxed. For the guys, wear a nice pair of pants or jeans, if you don't own a suit, and a nice shirt. Always carry with you a tie and a jacket. When you get to the office finally and they give you the script, you find out what you should wear. You are prepared. Remember, the key word for everything you do in this industry is to be prepared. Now, remember to dress the way you want to be remembered. Remember to dress the way you want to be spoken to. That's the secret. <laughs>